Okay, so welcome back guys. It is the 12th of January and that means this is my 12th upload in 12 days. So you know the drill by now. If you guys could smash 12 likes in this video, I would definitely, definitely upload again tomorrow. So today's video is gonna be a technique video on push-ups. This is a series that I'm bringing because I know a lot of you started training in 2019 for your New Year's resolutions. A lot of you decided that you're gonna get up, you're gonna lose weight, you're gonna build muscle, you're gonna get the physique and the body that you really wanted. So that's why I'm bringing this series. I wanna help you guys who are starting out from fresh to get Get the physique you desire. That's why I did the bench press video the other day, and now I'm doing the push up video. If there's any exercises that you would like me to do in a quick three, four, five minute tutorial, please make sure you drop a comment down below. I want to cover everything for you guys. And to the more experienced gym goers who are following me, just bear with us, please. I want to really help these guys out who are starting in 2019. Please show your support as well by smashing a like on this video. Okay, so before we get into this demonstration, if you would like to get yourself a training program, please make sure you check out coachrichard.store. There are plans on there for weight loss, for muscle gain. There are also plans on to get stronger for football, athletics, sprinting, power. And yesterday, after a huge demand for it, I've added home workouts. So some of you can't get to the gym, can't get a gym membership, so you can actually work out from home with these home workouts. All you need is a set of dumbbells. Make sure you check it out, coachrichard.store. Okay, so push-up. I'm gonna show you some of the most common mistakes for push-ups, and I'm also gonna show you ways that you can develop into doing a push-up if you can't do them. Okay, so the first mistake, and the most common mistake I see people do when they do push-ups is this. Now, from here, this is a very, very difficult position to push up from because what I actually did was drop my spine through my body. It's almost like you're psychologically just trying to get to the ground, so what you do is allow your body to drop through to the ground. But with push-ups, what you actually want to do is keep the shoulders retracted, keep the body away from the ground, and let the arms bend. And that will allow you to use the chest muscle much more efficiently. So when I do push-ups correctly, I'm gonna keep my body away from the ground, but just bend my arms. If I do push-ups incorrectly with that drop through, it ends up here. And this is a far more difficult position to push from. As it puts a lot of stress on the shoulders, a lot of stress around your scapula, you'll feel the difference when you do that. So that is the most common mistake I see people do when they do push-ups. Mistake number two is the arm angle. So the arm angle wants to be tucked in around 45 degrees. So you want to feel like you're lowering your chest to your hands and then pushing back away. It's a very safe position for the shoulder. It's a very good position to work your chest muscle. But one of the mistakes that a lot of people do is bring your arms too high. So you end up in this position here. You've got no power from here. You've got no strength from here. Your chest muscle is not actually doing the work here very well. There's a lot more stress on the front of your shoulders. So here is a much more difficult position to push up from than here. So you want to make sure you tuck the elbows in at 45 degrees. So keeping away from the ground, keeping the shoulders retracted, keeping the chest out. You want to drop your elbows into 45 degrees and lower your chest to your hands. Okay, mistake number three that people do. Either because they're too fatigued or because the push-ups are just too hard. When you get to the bottom, they start to push away and the elbow flicks around. You want to make sure you're not flicking your elbow around. It's like when you do squats and you squat down. When you push up, you want to keep your knees as stable. You don't want to drop the knee in. It's the same thing with push-ups. So you need to bear in mind that elbow needs to stay still and push through in a smooth line. Some people, when they get fatigued, you get this elbow flicking around. It's something that Toby was doing on a lot of test day. You want to make sure you don't get that. Try and push through as smooth as possible. In here, straight back up. Straight back up. And avoid this kink when you get tired. And mistake number four that I see people do when they do push-ups is the hip position. They either take the hips too high or drop the hips too low. If you drop your hips down on the way down, it's very difficult to do a push-up. I can't do a push-up, I can't go anywhere. You need to make sure you keep your hips up and in line. Another thing that people do is when they get to the bottom, they pull up with their hips up in the air or they leave the hips down at the bottom. You want to try to hold a really solid position right through your body from heel right through to your head in a straight line. You want to tuck those abs in, you want to hold your glutes, you want to push through your arms, keep everything very, very stable, all the way through, like a plank. Okay, if you can't do a full push-up, you can develop by doing push-ups on your knees initially. You can play around with the angle of this as well to make it a little bit easier. Straighten out from knee to head. You still want to make sure that you're lowering your chest down to your hands. You've got that 45 degree angle and that you're not bowing your elbows around. And you want to keep from knee to head in a straight line. 
Okay, so I hope that push-up demonstration helps some of you guys. Please make sure you do go check out cartridge.store. If this video did help you anyway, please make sure you leave a like and leave a comment. And if you would like to see a demonstration of any exercise, please make sure you comment it down below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.